Ever since I made the video about five worst foods to eat that you should not have in your diet, especially if you want to lose belly fat in particular, or weight, you know, in general, people started to ask me about foods that you can actually eat to help you lose weight also. So that's why I'm here today filming this video for you guys because I am going to share with you five best foods, well, fruits in particular, we're gonna be talking about fruits, that if you eat these, they will help you tremendously in your weight loss efforts. Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Lisa and welcome to Better Slimmer You, a place where we talk all things health and fitness. And today we are discussing fruits that are really good for your tummy and that will help you lose weight and lose belly fat faster. First things first, there is plenty of fruit and you know that vegetables and fruits are really good for you. They are super nutritious for your body and you know, you need to eat more of them. That's no secret, but these five fruits that I am about to share with you in this video are the ones that will actually help you lose weight faster and in a much easier and more efficient way. That's why you should pay attention because you definitely want to know these specific fruits that are super good for your body, tummy, and weight loss. Also, don't think that there is like any bad fruits or good fruits. Any fruit is good and any fruit can be a part of a healthy lifestyle even if you are not trying to lose weight. It's really good for your weight management, for your mood, for your skin, to curb those sugar cravings. Of course, I recommend eating any food you like, as long as it helps you eat more fruit in general. That is something that a lot of the people need to work on because it has been tested that only 12% of adults eat a sufficient amount of fruit per day. With that being said, if you're already an avid fruit fan and are looking for some of the best fruits for weight loss, I got you covered, girl. Of course, I had to give the number one to my personal favorite, and it is grapefruit. I even drink tea that has grapefruit extracts in it, and it is amazing. I'm sure some of you guys know about the grapefruit diet and have heard of it before, and of course, it is a really good way to lose weight pretty quickly and or get back into the swing of things if you've been slacking on your diet and need a change. So the grapefruit diet is not what I am talking about, like when I point out grapefruit. I'm talking about eating grapefruit as a part of your weight loss management and as a part of just, you know, your regular eating regime. If you're familiar with my channel, I talked a lot about grapefruit on here and I'm a huge advocate for it. I just, I cannot get enough. It is amazing. I actually prefer grapefruit a lot more to oranges and there's plenty of reasons why. Of course, if you wanna check those videos out, feel free. I actually made one video where I compared grapefruit to orange and I listed some of the really good facts about both of these wonderful and delicious citrus fruits. Because a lot of the times when I recommend grapefruit as a part of the like a food hack or part of the diet plan or something, people always ask me whether or not they can substitute grapefruit with an orange. And if you're curious about that, definitely make sure to check out my video where I do the comparison. I'm gonna link it up in the cards down in the description box below. And of course, in the end, I went into such in-depth comparison in that video, so you definitely should get your questions answered there. Number two, watermelon. Watermelon is delicious anytime you can get your hands on it, but especially in the summertime because it is super hydrating. More than 90% of this fruit is water and it really helps you meet your fluid needs for the day, but it can also help you manage your weight by keeping you feeling full. A March 2019 study published in the journal Nutrients tested this theory. Overweight and obese adults were given a daily snack with the same amount of calories, two cups of fresh watermelon or low-fat cookies. After four weeks, the watermelon group lost significantly more weight, decreased their waistlines, and produced a greater satiety response compared to the cookie group. 
Third place goes to mango. Despite it being especially sweet, mangoes can still be part of your weight loss journey. Their sweetness can be very helpful and beneficial in curbing those sweet tooth cravings that I'm sure a lot of us get and yeah, it's just a delicious way to curb them without sacrificing those precious calories. There was another study published in the Journal of Nutrition and Food Sciences found that those who enjoy a mango typically consume less sugar and weigh less. The researchers noted that mango eaters also have a higher healthy eating score, including taking in more fiber and other vitamins and minerals. Mango contains 100 calories per one cup serving along with 3 grams of fiber. This tropical fruit is also very hydrating. If you didn't know, 84% of it is water. Preliminary. Pre preliminary research has published that mango extract can inhibit fatty tissue formation. It's just a fancy way of saying that if you eat mangoes, you will be less likely to get that belly fat that you really don't want. So next time when you find yourself in a grocery store, make sure to stock up on those mangoes. Number four on my list goes to raspberries and blackberries. All berries are really good and you should absolutely include all of them into your diet, but raspberries and blackberries are especially high in fiber and antioxidants. A cup of fresh raspberries has 65 calories and 8 grams of fiber, while a cup of fresh blackberries has 60 calories and 7.5 grams of fiber per cup, so they are pretty similar. This amount of fiber provides almost 30% of women's fiber needs for the day and 20% for men, which will help to keep you satisfied longer. Wow, this light change is really going like nuts on me, giving me crazy reflections. <laughs> Fruits in general are also a great source of phytochemicals, but blackberries and raspberries were pointed out and called out to be, oh my gosh, what's going on with my voice? <clears throat> they were highlighted to have a high phenolic content. Oh my gosh, I'm using a lot of scientific words today. What does that even mean? Let me explain. Certain phenolics found in fruit are known to be anti-obesity compounds and blackberries along with some of the wild berries have some of the highest phenolic phytochemical content. Wow, that was a mouthful. And I said it all in one go. Very good. Very good. And last but not least, one of my personal favorites and if I could, I would make it my first, but unfortunately, you know, my first place goes to grapefruit, so it cannot be first, but... That's like a weird logic, but I'm including it last. I know why, because it's not sweet. But yes, in case you're wondering, avocado is actually a fruit. Fun fact, the researchers compared the diets and overall health of those who regularly consumed avocado versus those who don't, and found that avocado lovers weigh significantly less and have smaller waistlines. They also tend to eat more fruits, vegetables, fiber, vitamin E and K, potassium, magnesium, and of course fewer added sugars compared to those ones who decide to pass on the green fruit. There was another study where they looked at the effects of adding a half or a whole avocado in place of carbohydrates would have on hunger hormones and satiety at breakfast. Results showed that even though subjects ate the same amount of calories, the breakfasts that had the addition of avocados led to greater suppression of hunger and greater reported satisfaction post-meal for both avocado groups. So eat those avocados, people! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash and destroy the heck out of that like button. It really helps out my channel a lot. And of course, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button to get all of the notifications and never miss a future upload from me. And with that being said, stay healthy, stay fit, stay foxy, and I will see you in my next video. Third plate. Additionally, primal cut. Additionally, primal Pro. <laughs>